Hello, my name is Marta Arumi. I teach interpreting at Universitat Autònoma de Barcelona in Spain and coordinate the MIRES research group focused on the study of public service interpreting. My name is Sarah Crafter and I am a professor of cultural and developmental psychology at the Open University here in the UK. My work focuses on children and young people's experiences of migrating. Welcome to the Elbit project. Elbit stands for Empowering Young Language Brokers for Inclusion in Diversity. This is a European Union funded project where we sought to celebrate multilingualism and raise awareness of young people's translating and interpreting activities. Elbit is a strategic partnership of five higher education institutions and one social enterprise. The project is coordinated by the Universitat Autónoma de Barcelona in Spain. And the other partners are Universitat di Bologna in Italy, the Open University and Northampton University in the UK, Leibniz Universitat Hannover in Germany, and Canada Games from Spain. The project has three main objectives. To have a better understanding of language brokering by young people across Europe, to propose a set of guidelines for child and young language brokering in Europe, and to design activities related to language brokering to be included in high school's curricula. We in the team have attempted to do this in a couple of ways. Firstly, by developing a teacher's book to use in secondary school classrooms. This teacher's book covers a variety of topics related to the practice of child language brokering and multilingualism and contains both useful information and classroom activities you can do as a teacher with your students. It has been published in five languages, that is Catalan, English, German, Italian, and Spanish. The activities are intended for secondary school students, that is age from 11 to 18, though some activities will be better suited to younger students and others to older students. The topics and activities are meant for general classroom settings. The students from a multilingual and multicultural context might be able to identify more with certain activities, while students from monolingual context will be offered an insight into the diversity of childhood experiences and the value of multilingualism and multiculturalism. The teacher's book, it is flexible and designed to adapt to different teaching needs and environments. You as a teacher might want to select just a couple of activities to help your students reflect on a topic, or to link in with other topics you are working on as part of the school curriculum. Or you could use the teacher's book to, for example, prepare a series of workshops for looking at youth language brokering and multiculturalism from a wider perspective. We have also created a video game that can be used within the schools to explore the social and emotional choices that young language brokers might face. There is a specific capsule with recommendations and instructions on how to use the video game. Marta has been using the term child language brokering. And you might have asked yourself, what does that mean? Or what is a child language broker? Child language brokers are children and young people who translate and interpret for peers, family members, and the local community. 
This is an activity that is very common in communities and families who migrate to new countries. However, this activity does not necessarily get that much uh, attention either in public discussions or in research. Thinking about the role of child language brokers in contexts like school is important because young people's multilingualism should be encouraged and celebrated. Translating and interpreting for other people can give young people important skills. And very often, parents prefer to use their own children to translate and interpret because they trust them to keep family matters confidential. However, we do know that young people can experience an array of emotions, feelings, behaviours and consequences associated with child language brokering, both positive and negative. This includes feeling more confident, empowered, mature and skilled. But young people also describe times when they feel a weight of responsibility, embarrassment on behalf of themselves or their parents, or highly visible to others. Previous research has shown how school is a significant site for translating and interpreting activities. Educators both appreciate the contributions that young people make to the school through their language brokering, such as helping a new pupil settle. Equally, educators feel concern about young language brokers' competency and whether they will be socially and emotionally impacted. Sometimes schools are left with few choices but to ask young people to help. This teacher's handbook and the activities it contains tackle some of these choices and the dilemmas while seeking to raise awareness about young people's multilingualism and their child language brokering. In the following capsules, you will be introduced to each of the chapters of the teacher's handbook. We encourage you to dig deeper into the materials and explore the possibilities they offer.